I'd rather be single than in a terrible relationship. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen a couple together and you cannot understand why they're together? I'm not looking at anyone specifically. You don't have to worry. You all seem great together. But you know the kinds of couples you see. You see them fight in public and you just think, why are they together? The one time I was in Atlantic City. Now I realize Atlantic City is not the place to see happy and healthy relationships. I know that. But this one blew my mind. I was waiting to play the Ellen DeGeneres show slot machine. Which is a very real machine. And I was like, I'm gonna win big on that. So I was waiting, and there was this couple on the machine before me, and then when they were done, they got up. And the wife turned to the husband and asked, Honey, do you have any mint or gum? And the husband went, I have Tic Tacs. And then she went, Forget it! And then she stormed off. I lost $300 to Ellen DeGeneres because they were all I could think about. Why are these two people together, right? Let's all ignore the fact that Tic Tacs are definitely mints. Let's look past that and focus on what I think is the bigger issue. How does she not know her husband has Tic Tacs? Right? They're the noisiest thing you can have in your pocket. And no one buys Tic Tacs for the first time. Tic Tacs are never an impulse purchase. If you have Tic Tacs, you always have Tic Tacs. It's part of your personality. You're a Tic Tac person. And every chance you get, you take them out and you shake them up like maracas. And you go, Tic Tac? Tic Tacs? Anyone want a Tic Tac? And then they make us non-Tic Tac people hold out our hands. Like we're receiving communion. Like you're an orphan asking for soup. You're like, I'll take one, please and they never let us hold the Tic Tacs. They have to do it. And they gently try to shake that one Tic Tac out. But you know what happens. That one Tic Tac turns horizontal and blocks the hole. So then they have to shake harder and harder and then seven pour out at once. And they always go, ooh, lucky you. And I'm always like, not lucky me. I have to eat seven Tic Tacs now. I'll feel like I'm overdosing on minty pills. I don't want this. And then they always go, I got the orange kind. I'm a psychopath. You know, they always... <laughs> Those people are sick. Deranged. Altoids people aren't much better. Right? You ever notice people who open the Altoids tin always open it up like a briefcase in a drug deal? Did you ever? <laughs> They're always like, you <"Yeah>, sure? <laughs> okay. Always looking over their shoulder for cops. And then they open the tin and they make us do that weird two-finger human crane game. And they're like shaking it up and you're like, stand still, please. And you just try to touch that one Altoid. And every time I put an Altoid in my mouth, I always think the same thing. Wow, chalk is spicy! <laughs> I've been obsessing about this.